Just Espresso. I'm Rob. I'm Dave. And we taste espresso for, for you. So we want to do a special thing because when we make our espressos, sometimes we put filters on the bottom of the puck, and then sometimes we just put them on the top. Uh, or I'm sorry, sometimes we put them on the bottom and the top, and then some, sometimes we just put a filter on the top. Um, and with these particular coffees, we made different recipes. Rob has a recipe for more darker roasts, and we use my recipe, which is more like Scott Rao's recipe for the lighter roasts. Um, this, the, the Scott Rao recipe has a bloom in the middle, which we could also explain, but essentially it's pausing in the middle. We'll do some other video on it. Pausing sure. in the middle so you can sure. increase extraction, um, but also putting a filter in the bottom, apparently increases extraction up to about 30. Um, apparently, like if you go to a cafe, normally you're getting between like 18 and 22 extraction regularly. Percent, um, right? Percent. Talking about percentages. Here. Percent, he's talking about yeah. percentages. I don't actually know, I just look at the point numbers. So there's more for me to learn as well. Essentially, this should have less extraction because of the way we pulled it without the filter, though there was a bloom. And then this one had the bloom and the filter at the bottom, so it should be more extraction. Something Scott Rao found. Um, and so when you hear us talk about these different recipes, it's one of the things. If you are doing a more traditional Sicilian style espresso, um, you might consider not having a filter at the bottom. Uh, if you are doing a lighter roast, uh, then that has more nuance to it, and you want clearer flavors, you might consider putting a, uh, a filter in the bottom. We literally use a hole punch, a, like a two and a quarter inch hole punch yeah. to punch uh, out filter sizes for our baskets. And you know, for you guys at home, uh, you probably have different size porter filters, right, for your espresso machine. And so you can find the hole punch that fits for you. Yeah. We're using uh, V60 filters as our hole punch. Air press filters work too. We do that and, that too. you know, I de in my opinion, no matter what machine you have at home, at the very least, you should be putting the filter on top. It really helps to even out the water hitting the puck, minimizing channel and really helping make your coffee, t and also helping your machine stay cleaner as well, so. Number one, yeah. I think the number one thing that's definitely working for us is the cleanliness of the machine. Uh, it keeps coffee grounds from getting into that grate right up above it, and so when you pull it out, like the puck, first of all, the puck comes out beautifully, uh, and second of all, it's all clean on there when you rinse it, very little coffee comes yeah. out of there. Um, Something didn't, the, physically it does seem like that it's stopping, by, by the way we tamp that top filter on top, so we put the filter inside the porta filter, we put our coffee inside, um, so we're stirred around, and then we put another uh, filter on top, and then we tamp that filter down when we put it in. Tamp um, it down. Tamp it down. The filter on top, I do believe, sort of distributes the water more evenly across uh, the, into the, the grounds. Possibly, yeah. I think that's what's happening. Um, but that's one of the things we do. Last little tidbit, the little history of it, that filter thing inside your porta filter started because I think somebody in Argentina or Brazil was talking with Scott Rao about their recipe that they used to get higher traction rates for the lighter roasts um, with the bloom. And uh, basically his doctor told him to start drinking filtered coffee instead of unfiltered coffee because his yeah. LDL um, uh, cholesterol was high, as mine is, so I know a lot about it. And uh, it is true, there is, they have done studies that show if you drink unfiltered coffee, it can raise your LDL about five points, 10 points. Um, and really? by, yeah. by putting the filters in the bottom, you are filtering out um, some of those. And they talk, the studies talk about the compounds and stuff like that that, that are probably doing it. But anyway, little fun tidbits. This is Just Espresso where we taste espresso for you. Um, hey. See you next time. Cheers.